So far what we have learned was just the basic of Laravel. Let's build a CRUD system or the create, read, update and delete system so that we can learn a little bit practically. This is the beginner way of doing something. This is not the professional way uh, how people learn uh, to do these things. That's why we use the basic example. So let us delete all the file we have created and start from scratch. So I'll delete the book we had. Yes. And then we will have to delete the database from here. Okay, don't ask me again. Just move it to the trash. And going to the controller, we have our controller. The home controller is by default. My controller, I will delete this one. Plus, we should clean up our route. Because we had a few routes here. We, we do not use them. And I will save this. Plus, we had a few view files. Going to view, we have about. I will delete the about page and then we have the contact I'll delete this one too so I'll close these files and start from scratch how you are going to build your CRUD system mostly the way I do is I first create a model because the model with model you can create a migration after that you can create your controller so I'll come to the command line here let me clean the screen and you can use PHP artisan make model you can give them a model and name for now i will give them a book for example book and give it a flag of m for this one if i create it and it should create a book model for us plus the migration but i will go to the php my admin here as you can see i will log in and I will delete the table which we had by already here. Of course, I will show you how it is going to uh, delete all those table. If I go to the migration folder, this migration for the migration uh, table, it will record all the the tables we have migrated. For the first time, we migrated do two table, and for the second time, we migrate one table. That's why when you use PHP artisan migrate rollback, it will delete the last table. So let's do it. Let's come here to the application and see how you can delete the, the table. I will come here, use PHP, artisan, migrate, rollback. And run the command, migration not found because we do not have any table. This one because it is new here. We have created a newly with a new date. It will see the date here in the file and if it exists here so good if not it will delete that one if i come to the my app here database migration as you can see this is a new date this is not the same as this one that's why it cannot delete this one so that's why you can come here and delete it by yourself from here as well as from the tables in the car i will select it and say we will drop it yes now it is deleted now we can uh, go to the migration folder here you you must have our, our migration but as i said sometimes the this one will take a little time it says we have created the file but it will not show up here that's why you can refresh uh, from here the folders and it will display it here so let's add some extra table fields here the first one is a string uh, let's say our book has a name and then it has table string and it has this description if you are using the string here it will uh, the field will be 191 character 191 character you can use the something called medium text it will be a little larger and it will take some more character because sometimes you write a lot of description for the book this is fine for now as you can see this is how you can write it so we just practice the basic crud once you create this one you can come here and php artisan migrate all of these things should be clear for you it will migrate our table if i refresh the page now we have our table here now the next thing we should create is create a controller php 
artisan make controller the how you name your controller just give them a book controller you can write book also but if you write the controller extension to this one that way you understand which one is controller which one is model that's why now if I come to the app here again refresh your file as you can see you have book controller here this is empty which is not what we want we will just delete it and run the command again to with a flag of R to create the resources for us to if I come here and see now we have our index we have create and all of those things the next thing you need to do is to create the the route for this one and we will use something called resource and resource as we had here or for resource you have a resource route too in Laravel means you don't need to add a lot of routing let me uh, show you another comment before that if you come here write php artisan route list it will list all the routes you have so far as you can see for this example we have API user home login and all of these things we have email but we don't have all of this here right it is because we have auth route here if I come in this line of code and rewrite our comment this time we have only two routes here one is for API one is for home uh, for the home and one is for the home page here is the home and here is the main page as you can see uh, the reason why we have this much route is because one function this function auth routes this will register those routes for us so we should register uh, one route for our book we will use the resource uh, route here I will write route is RC yes and then you say it is going to be book and what is the controller name book controller this is very simple as you can see we just uh, add one line of code instead of writing get or post or any other thing let me uh, define it more as you can see we have an index so for index we must have one uh, route for a uh, route line of code here like a get for the create you must have another for the store you must have another for the show another one uh, Laravel made it easy for you if you write the resource and pass the name for this one you can write any type of name for the name but you should have the correct controller here the route name is the controller name is book controller if you write it it will create route for all of these functions let's see how it is going to work if I come here again this time if I run the command of route list as you can see beside the login logout password reset and register you have the book you have book create you have book uh, again this is different with the different extension as you can see the methods are different you have post method you have head, head method and all of this this is because Laravel is the best framework and uh, the best PHP framework nowadays and it made your life a lot easy it's not that something it will make you lazy but it's something that you need to do if you don't want to do it you can do it by your hand but it is something uh, that they thought it is easy that's why they added they have a name for the their route book that is stored like book that index and all of those things and it all of them will refer to the controller book at create the action will be here to the show edit you have your destroy and update and all of those things that's why it is very easy to write one line of code and add all the controllers here so in the next video we will learn how to retrieve data how to save data and all of those things